friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a soft cataract and soft cataracts are sometimes hard to manage let us observe this surgery this is the main incision and now visco is injected into the anterior chamber and it is applied over the cornea in this way don't apply a lot of visco over the cornea apply as much as it is required and now in this case only one side port is being made on the left side of the main incision and then capsular axis is done a capsular tag is raised with the help of a 26 gauge band needle now i use a utrata forceps hold this capsular tag go anti clockwise all around remaining at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated pupil and thus i do a fairly round axis and now hydro dissection is to be done hydro dissection is done with the help of bss and a 27 gauge cannula attached to a 2 cc syringe fluid wave goes to the opposite equator the nucleus is tapped and now 2% SPMC is injected into the anterior chamber. In this case my plan is to try carousel technique first. So the tip of the HECO handpiece is introduced with its bevel down towards the lens mass some superficial cortical matter is removed the nucleus is rotated very nicely now the FECO tip is placed at the edge of the nucleus and with high vacuum and flow rate it is tried to carousel but in this case it moved for some time then it stopped so whenever we plan a technique and if it doesn't work what to do we have to do it somehow do it somehow means d i s a s that is dish so this can be called dish technique means do it somehow technique when the technique that you have planned is not working you just tilt it hold it and tilt it and break it and do if whatever you your intuition says and main in maintaining the anterior chamber and protecting the cornea as well as the posterior capsule now in this case the epinucleus could not be removed at on go part of it came but there's a thick sheet of epinucleus still remaining only one third or one fourth of it came out so what I do is I inject visco behind this epinucleus and then I take a blunt instrument very much blunt and go behind this epinuclear sheet and lift it off tent it off like this once this maneuver is done it is conquered you just have to go again with the tip of the FECO handpiece be in epinucleus removal mode place it at the edge of this epinuclear sheet and it will come very easily within seconds yes it is removed and now a lot of cortex is remaining in this case again some visco is injected and now in this case i'm going to use a coaxial irrigation aspiration device for removal of these cortex this is a, a good instrument from Oatly, but it is quite costly and first remove the sub incisional cortex and then go all around and you are done 
And now I use irrigating proof. The irrigating fluid is swept over the posterior capsule and whatever lens cells are sticking to the posterior capsule they come out. Now in this case a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is being implanted in the capsular bag keeping the anterior chamber formed by irrigation. We can call it hydro implantation. Yes, now the lens goes in the capsular bag. The lens is dialed by the irrigating probe itself. Because the irrigating probe will keep the anterior chamber formed and dialing will be very much safe. Otherwise, we can use the irrigation through the side port and use a Sinsky hook and dial it if it is difficult to dial with the irrigating probe. And now, the single side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. A final lavage of the anterior chamber is done with a 23G Simco. The anterior chamber is nicely formed. And then the integrity of the main incision and the side port is checked by a wet and squeezed cotton tipped Jensen bud. Moxie is applied over ocular surface. A drop of SPMC is applied at the center of the cornea. And the case is concluded. Thank you very, very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.